Condensation is a change in the state of matter from gas to liquid. Condensation is the reverse of vaporization. Liquid becomes gas. Both events happen at the same temperature. Fresh water vaporizes and water vapor condenses at 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degrees Fahrenheit. The condensation process can occur with any substance that vaporizes at workable temperatures, such as water, alcohol used in distilling, and hydrocarbons used in petroleum refining. When does condensation occur? Any gaseous substance will condense when pressure and temperature allow the particles to lose thermal energy and move closer together. Water vapor in the air does this when it encounters a colder surface. The thermal energy moves from the water molecules in the air into the colder surface, causing the water molecules to slow down and move closer together, resulting in a change from gas to liquid. The greater the temperature difference between the cold surface and the warmer gas, the faster and greater the condensation rate. This is the same process as your steamy shower leaving your bathroom mirror a foggy mess and causes water droplets to form on the side of your glass of iced tea on a hot day. The condensation point of water is 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degrees Fahrenheit. This is the temperature at which water vapor loses enough thermal energy to change into liquid form again. This is also the boiling point of water at sea level. At 100 degrees Celsius, fresh water becomes water vapor, the gaseous form of liquid water. The point of condensation for atmospheric water is also referred to as the dew point. The dew point temperature varies according to pressure and humidity. When warm air full of water vapor cools to its dew point by contacting a colder surface, the gaseous water will condense, causing water to form on the surface of the object. The process of phase change can be charted with a condensation diagram, such as this one. Two notable spots on the diagram are the triple point and critical point. The triple point is the temperature and pressure at which the three phases of a given substance all exist in thermodynamic equilibrium at the same time. A substance's critical point is when the liquid and gas phases of that substance have the same density. They are indistinguishable from each other. Besides summer drinks and bathroom mirrors, Examples of condensation abound. Jet planes leave contrails or condensation trails. These are lines of pure water and ice exhausted from the jet's engines. As warm water vapor leaves the hot engines, it's condensing rapidly, leaving white streaks. Distilling depends on condensation. Distilleries produce alcohol spirits, whiskey, rum, brandy, and beer by heating closed containers of fermented materials, barley, hops, rye, and other grains, fruits, or vegetables, until the alcohol vaporizes and condenses against the metal at the top of the container. This is drawn off through metal coils chilling in water. Distillation can also be used in science laboratories to produce useful items like rubbing alcohol, herbs, spices, and food flavorings, especially from citrus fruits. Distilled water, perfume, and petroleum products are also made using the same methods.